Hey folks, Technivers here. Welcome to our very first episode of Creality Corner. Now, in this series we're going to be exploring all the different options available from Creality as well as some of our favorites and going over some of the things that we've experienced with these machines while printing and enjoying the process of printing with them. Now, my first machine was an Ender 3, so I might be a little bit biased, but I will tell you that in no way, shape, or form has Creality ever sent me a free printer or offered me money in order to give you my opinion or anything like that. So with that said, let's jump right into it. I wanna talk about these machines right here. They're the two that I'm currently running. This one is the Creality Ender 3 version two. And then these are two resin printers that are variants of the LD-002 series. This is the 002R, and this is the LD-002H. Now you won't find much about this one on my channel yet because I just got it, and it has a slightly larger build size than this, but other than that, it's the same printer. You will be seeing a full review for it soon. I just haven't quite completed testing yet, so we'll get to that as time goes on, probably on a later edition of Creality Corner. Technivers channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. Check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash technivers. So I'd like to start the first episode off by explaining to you why the Ender 3 series specifically is one of the best beginner printers around and why it is one of the most sought after. Um, the reason for this is pretty simple actually. It's because there's already a really large user base for these machines. Now, um, the only thing that you can really compare the Ender 3 user group to as a whole is maybe the Prusa fan base, uh, although it's really apples to oranges because Prusa is a lot more expensive machine with dedicated parts. This printer is a lot more customizable as seen by the different versions of it. And I'm not knocking Prusa for that and there are a ton of customizations you can do to Prusa printers as well. Um, so don't go jumping me and saying I'm anti-Prusa. This is a specific reality segment. I'm just making the comparison and saying that there is a super large community of users of this machine that like to help each other out and talk to each other and share mods and things like that. And the only thing that's really comparable to that is the Prusa fan base because those guys are fanatics as well. Now, um, we're not going to get into the, the main differences of what makes one better than the other because honestly they're both pretty much the same thing as far as mechanics goes. They have different builds from each maker. Um, the reason I'm kind of partial to these machines is because of the price tag. Now these aren't super, super cheap machines. You can get cheaper ones, but for the quality that you get and the quality of the print that you can get from these machines, the price is actually really, really low. Uh, and that's not just a Hawk Ender 3s here. Um, this machine, honestly, the Ender 3 version 2 has a couple additions such as the screen, which I really, really like. But for the most part, the rest of the modifications on here are things that could have just been printed on your Ender 3 or Ender 3 Pro. So now the Ender 3 Pro is even cheaper because they have a version 2. So definitely a good time to go grab a couple of Ender 3 Pros if you're thinking about starting a print farm because this machine is very, very reliable and so are its predecessors. The thing that excites me, though, are the Creality LCD machines. Now, these are MSLA, and they work really, really well. Um, you can see I have a print here on one, and it's the plate's at an angle because it's got a drip tray on there, so it'll drip off some of that extra filament, or not filament, some of that extra uh, resin. And then when we take it off the plate, we'll hang it there again and let the rest of that excess just drip off. But um, this is a really fun process, and it's really interesting because... The resin machines don't deposit in lines or um, even arcs like the filament machines. What they do is they do a whole layer at a time. So when you slice it, you can actually see it in the slicer. You get the whole cutout of that layer. Uh, and this leads to a lot faster print time for the same size objects because you're printing a whole layer in between seven and 10 seconds. Um, other than the first couple layers, which take a couple minutes. But to get seven to 10 layers a second on something like this, you're gonna be going at ridiculous speeds and you're gonna be jerking out of control. It's gonna cause serious issues. The print just won't be of good quality. Uh, also with the resin printers, you get that super, super fine layer height. So that's a big advantage there as well uh, because you really can't see the layer lines or anything like that. Uh, this machine is the predecessor to this machine, and this machine actually has a version before it too. So 
The real major difference, as I said, is the size of the build plate on the LD002H compared to the LD002R. Uh, I don't have the exact specifics on hand and it's not that big of a change. So like I said, that's the nice thing about Creality is they're always innovating and when they re release a new machine with upgrades, um, this is like the Ender 3 V2 of this printer. Uh, it's a little bit modified, you got a little bit bigger build area, a few advantages, but for the most part it's the same thing. So when they release this, it's at the original price point basically of this machine, which means they lower the price of this machine. So you can still get a really, really high quality machine, uh, even if it's the last generation or the second to last generation. So um, that's really, really nice. And the more that they have of those, the faster they iterate, the more they seem to have the, the, la the previous version laying around and you can scoop it up on places like Banggood for really cheap. So um, definitely, definitely check out the resin printers if you're a Creality fan. I will tell you, it is a different ball game from the filament here because you have to wear the gloves and it, it can make a little bit of a mess. If you have problems with the FEP sticking to the build plate or you puncture it, then there's going to be resin everywhere. So realistically, with these printers, I should have some sort of drip tray around the bottom in case something happens where this gets punctured. Not the plastic, but what's underneath it and, and the resin leaks out. Um, so kind of a pain to clean and then the cleaning and post-processing process is a little bit different you have to clean all the extra resin off and then UV cure them but um, you do end up with a nicer product uh, although I can't get anything nearly as big out of this machine as I get off of the Ender 3 or especially say if I have uh, the Ender extender kit like I had on my Pro where it's 400 millimeters high um, you could get some really big prints out of that so I am playing around with trying to find a way to take the, I have a, a 400 millimeter lead screw and I'm playing around with a way to take the brace and the guide off of this one and put it on this one and see if I can somehow do an extra tall mod for this but we'll see, we'll, we'll get to that down the road. There'll probably be a far future version of Creality Corner. So basically um, I got my maker's area here set up and cleaned up and I noticed all these guys here in the corner and I do realize I go through a lot of Creality machines I use a lot of Creality stuff so I figured I would start making a couple of videos dedicated to Creality specifically so on that note I want you guys to jump down below and hit the comments and let me know what your favorite Creality printer is uh, you know leave, let me know what your first Creality printer was just leave me some sort of comments about your experience with Creality and 3D printing uh, <laughs> As I said, please keep the negativity out of it. I mean, if you're a Prusa fan, don't get offended that I didn't make a, a, a Prusa corner or anything like that. Um, but, yeah, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you'd like to see in future videos from Creality Corner. And that's going to be it, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I plan on doing plenty more of these videos in the future, but I don't think it's going to be a scheduled segment as of yet if we start getting a lot of ideas and a lot of content for these guys then maybe we'll go to a monthly or maybe even a weekly video uh, but for now it's just going to be when I have something it's going to come off the cuff and get added to the playlist so you should be seeing a lot of this and I'll be trying to spend a lot of time here in Creality Corner they are uh, hands down my favorite printers and I don't feel bad about saying that like I said I've, I've paid for every single one of these printers that I have or um, this one in particular was actually given to me by Banggood, but Creality had nothing to do with it. So um, they've never, they're, they're not sponsors or anything. I just really, really like their products, and I think that they make um, a nice printer. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Pay no attention to the mess going on behind me. Pay more attention to the mess going on on my shirt. Check this out. Finally got the merch available. That's right, finally hit 10K, so the merch is finally here. Make sure you check out the Teespring merchandise bar below the video. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe because we have more videos coming your way. In fact, I've thrown a couple of suggestions, videos for you to watch on the screen right now, so go ahead and check those out. When you get done, don't forget to pop over and check out the merchandise. There's plenty of stuff to see, and thanks for watching, guys.